All right, looks like we're recording. Uh, if the audio for my voice sucks, then sorry, I don't have headphones on today. So I'm um, gonna have to get some new headphones or a new mic at some point. So we're just rolling with the punches. Hello everyone, this is Solonar aka Chad. Today I'm back for the first time in several months with Draft League content. We are participating in the PDPL season three. It's very good to be back. I've been a part of the first two seasons. Well run league very nice so yeah looking forward to be back the lineup is stacked this season so yeah we got that no time to go through the team i'm already late so just gonna go ahead and put in my code we're going up against pedons pedons is really good his team is really good so okay so doesn't have a lot of the mons that I thought he'd have. No beat up mode at all. He's got Vicavolt. He's got Archaludon, Forges, Polyrath. So he brought the rain mode and Trick Room stuff. So that's a bit of a bummer. I didn't prep extremely hard for Trick Room, but didn't bring any of his fighting types besides Polyrath, which is by far the least threatening one. So um, I suppose that is good. I don't know what battle rules to use, but for the tournament, I use battle rules one. I assume that that will be okay for this as well. Yeah, so Pidon's brought Fairy, Archaludon, Steel, Ryalu, Electric, Vicavolt, uh, Fire, Orangaroo, Steel, Forges, and Fire, Polyrath. So, that's fine. No Sneasel, no um, Verizion, no Blaziken. No Articuno. Uh, anything else I'm missing? No Patchy Risu. That's good. Yeah, just he brought the Trick Room stuff, basically. Bit of a bummer. I won't get to use my Feint for um, Sneasler, but that's okay. <clears throat> Vaporeon actually would have been kind of a fire bring here. But alas. So I wish my opponent good luck have fun. Go ahead and pull this up. Make sure everything is working as it should. Yeah, just doing YouTube now. I don't want to mess with Twitch anymore. So. so yeah, here we go. No fake out is interesting. No fake out or redirection. So his trick room isn't like super hard. Um, unless I'm like missing something. But anyway, so we got... Steel on Forges is interesting. Lots of Steel Terra. Steel Forges, Steel Ryolu. Um, Latias agenda kind of looks pretty strong here, though. So I think I'm going to go... Actually, Skeletors could be pretty good. Fairy looks pretty strong as Terra. I'm surprised he brought the Rain Mode because of Rillaboom. Rillaboom looks strong, but the Polyrath is... Fire, fire, right? Yeah. I mean, I did bring high horsepower for that, so I guess I'm not, like, unprepared. Yeah, this is interesting. I guess I'm just gonna go with my Rillaboom Latias and just kind of go from there. I think I'll bring Dirge and Comfey as the last two to start with. Seems like it should be pretty good. I can't, I, I don't really know what Terra, or like what moves or item Polyrath will be. I can assume Ryolu would be Prankster Rain Dance. Really, I mean, Prankster Coaching maybe for the Polyrath as well could be pretty cool. So, yeah, just an interesting, interesting squad Pedon's brought, but. Yep, so week one of the PDPL. We are underway. Hopefully Calm Mind Latias with the Grassy Seed will go dummy here. If not, then, well, <laughs> O plus ratio for us, I guess. So Rangaroo and Vickable, that's fine. So Grassy Seed's gonna go off. 
Get my defense boost. Vicar Bolt's kind of scary, so I assume that this Oranguru is telepathy, so that he can run like the discharge shenanigans. Um, I'm AV, so I can't imagine that I'll die to anything that Vicar Bolt does. I'm gonna do a pretty hard call out here. I'm gonna fake out his Oranguru, um, predicting him to be telepathy and not the other um, ability, the um, inner focus. I could also just like hard switch into Durish here. Yeah, that seems kind of fun. And then I'll go for Terra and uh, get that Calm Mind off. So, switching out the real boom. See what switches. See what he does. So, in comes Durish. I'm gonna be the first to Terra. Terra Electric. Keep myself safe from bug type moves from the Vicar Bolt. But yeah. So, yeah, there's my Latias. On mind, get that, get that plus one going. Let's see what Vigabolt goes for. Vigabolt bug buzzes into Dirge, does like three damage. And it's Life Orb, that's good to know. Guru sets up the Trick Room. All right, so now we have to we have to see if this uh, Oranguru reveals Encore because Encore could be kind of tragic for us to run into here. If he encores us into Calm Mind, then that could get kind of ugly. Vickable's probably gonna tear Electric and go for like Discharge or something. I could like switch back into Real Boom if I'm gonna predict that and go for Mist Ball into Vickable. See if we can get this uh, guru to reveal the um, encore if it has it. So now I know I can fake out the Vicable. That's good to know. So he is gonna. I'm gonna get him to bite. That's Terra Electric. Um, Vicable. He no longer resists Grassy Glide. So that's like good to know. All right, show me no encore on that Oranguru. There's Terra Electric T Bolt into what is likely my yeah into my AV Rilla. Does like four damage. He does get the immediate paralysis. Um, that's a bummer. Oh, it's Taunt. Okay, well I'm chilling. Taunt is way better than encore for me because now I got uh I already got my plus one. I'm chilling. Let me get that special attack drop. Bitch. <laughs> it's alright. Vickable is now super within Grassy Glide range, so. Um, so instead of Grassy Gliding, I'm gonna double up into this Oranguru. That paralysis is so annoying. <laughs> Vickable has to be super afraid of gla Grassy Glide here. Like, he can't. He can't not respect that. Because now he doesn't resist it, so it's neutral damage and he's at like 4 health, so... Yeah, there it is. We get the Protect. And he gets immediately fucking bailed out, dude. That's so annoying. Oh, play's gonna do like 3 damage because defense boost. Oh my god, I got so unlucky, bruh. Sorry, it doesn't reveal my play. Guru's taking decent damage from the Calm Mind. So now I can go for Grassy Glide into Vigable. I would have gotten a huge chunk into that Guru with Woodhammer, though. That's obnoxious. So he's probably. Is he going to switch into Archaludon here? I guess I could see him doing that, huh? Because he doesn't know what my Rillaboom went for. Yeah, he's going to switch out into Archaludon. That's annoying. I could have read that. <laughs> it's alright though, I brought mostly special attackers in this game, so... So that's okay. There's the first stamina. Yeah, I would have totally gotten a huge chomp into that. And it's off- of, it, I would have understood if it was off a of discharge, but it was off of... 
It was off of Thunderbolt. That's like super irritating. Um, I can. I mean, I can just go for Woodhammer into Guru now. Try to get that kill. Go for Protect into my Latias. I think. Stall out the last turn. He's got Foul Play, Trick Room, and Taunt. Give me my wood hammer. Come on. I've earned it. Give that shit to me. I've been playing so good. I deserve it. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Alright, so I get what is probably a really obvious protect off. And I get paralyzed again. <laughs> Dude, this game is poor shit. Now I'm gonna get, like, Dragon Pulse or something. Mirko! Oh! That's scary. Okay. Cool, good to know that he's got that. Uh, grass is gone, so I need to switch out into Dirge. No, I need to switch out into Comfey. Go for another Calm Mind. That's so annoying, dude. I would have totally gotten this Oranguru off of the board, but I've gotten paralyzed twice off of... <laughs> Off of fucking Thunderbolt Para. Pedon's getting carried right now by RNG. The good news is that I can kind of just sit in front of Archaludon for right now. I want to know what this Oranguru's last move is, though. So, Comfey is on the board. So we get that another Calm Mind off. Let's see what the Archaludon goes for. He goes for Dragon Claw, so he's physical? I guess that makes sense. The Trick Room goes back up. It's back online, so he's like physical Heavy Slam. Okay. So I'm gonna go for Protect into my Apothecary here. I'm gonna go for Aura Sphere to the Sarangaroo, because it's probably gonna taunt me. And I definitely don't want to, like, whiff a turn, so... I can assume that the Archaludon is still Mirror Coat. I feel, I feel actively punished. <laughs> it's just so irritating. Because <laughs> um, I, like, I called his plays, too. That's what makes it frustrating. So Oranguru dies. What's switching in here? Does he have anything that switches into fighting moves? Oh, it's coaching with the Archaludon. Okay, okay, that's cute. That's cute. So I'm gonna get some damage into this Ryolu. It's probably Eviolite, but that's fine, right? I'm gonna get some good damage off into Ryolu. Shouldn't kill it though. Oh, he's not Eviolite. Well, I guess I don't have to worry about coaching then. That's cool. So Vikavolt is back. And there's Archaludon. Archaludon no longer has a defense boost, which is good. Um, he was able to successfully call my Protect, so that's kind of annoying, but... So it's fit physical Archaludon. Okay, okay. Not bad. I'm going to switch out into... How many turns of Trick Room are left? So we got... Three turns of Trick Room left. He's not Eviolite on Riolu, and he's not Focus Sash on it either. Those two facts are kind of fascinating to me. We'll swap into Real Boom, get my Grassy Terrain back. Maybe get a turn of Fake Out Pressure on the next turn. I'm gonna go for Protect on my Latias here. I do not want him killing my um, Comfe with Heavy Slam here, so. So there's Guru again. I still have Darge in the back as well, which is really good. So, Grassy Terrain back on the board. I can get basically full healing on Latias whenever I want on Kung Fei now. I could have just not been a, not been a bitch and gone for Calm Mind here, but it's alright. Iron Head's not killing all of them. Yeah. Archaludon ain't that damn strong. 
So he's Iron Head, Body Press, Mirror Coat, and Dragon Claw. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, so I know that my Rillaboom is actually slower than his Guru because of the paralysis, so... I'm just gonna go for Calm Mind. I don't really care if he taunts me here. So we withdraw his Archaludon. Hopefully, for the fucking first time this game, Rillaboom can get the attack off that I want. There we go, baby. Alright, that's clutch. Guru barely lives it, but that's okay. Now I can just go for any kill I want with my Apothecary, so... Oh, is he Citrus? Or is he I, Papa? Citrus, okay. Never mind then. That complicates things. So he does taunt my Calm Mind. I think that's okay. Okay, so it should only be a couple turns of Trick Room left. I'm gonna put two huge threats on the board in front of them. The Dirge and the, the Freya. I'm at like plus three special defense, so Vickavolt should not be a threat to my uh, Latias at this point. How many turns of Trick Room are left? We got one turn of Trick Room left. So I'm gonna go for Torch Song into Guru on this turn, and I'm gonna go for R Sphere into Vickavolt. Yeah, if I would have gotten my Woodhammer off earlier, then the Orangaroo would have totally died because of the um, Bug Buzz. That didn't kind of do any shit to me. And did it die to its own lore? No. Yeah, I mean, this this just this isn't killing me. Like, And now it will die to its own lord. And he gets the crit. <laughs> oh, shit's a bad joke, guys. Shit's a bad joke. Alright, so I'll have plus one on the next turn. Absolutely ridiculous. Alright, so we get plus one off on Torch Song. And it doesn't quite kill. Get my special attack boost. So we know that all four of the Orangaroo's moves now, which is good. Okay. This is still, I think I still got this, because, um, Archaludon's gonna come in. And he can't really hurt my... He can't really hurt my uh, either of my mons here, so I'm gonna Torch Song and go for... I think I go for Tailwind just to make sure that my Dirge is faster. I mean, may maybe lots of investment and Iron Head kills me, but I am super duper 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 bulky Kunfei, so... So now I'm at plus two. I wonder if plus three Earth Power kills the, the Archaludon. Dragon Claws doesn't do anything. So my Skeledurge is 52 modest. into Archaludon, Earth Power at plus three. Not quite no-co. Get my healing off. Oh shit, if he mirror coats me, then I totally lose. I think I could have killed him, actually. Now I'm gonna lose this game because he crit me. Okay, never mind. He threw. And it doesn't do shit, so. Okay, if he had mirror coated there, then I uh I would have totally lost that game, so I definitely I definitely got a little lucky that that's not the play I went for. 
But now I don't have to reveal Earth Power. I can just go for another Torch Song and it'll just kill. I think the Archaludon's last move, Loki, might just be Protect, because that does not look like AV based off of how much plus two Torch Song did. It's actually, it's actually pretty reasonable damage, um, but still, Torch Song will definitely kill now that I'm at plus three, so... Then I don't... Well, I mean, I guess he, he probably knows that I have Draining Kiss, so I'll just fucking go for it. That does not look like AV, AV Arch to me. I don't know. Just, it feels like it's doing way too much damage. But, yeah, good lord. I low-key think I would have lived the mirror coat anyway. Let me look. Does that look like it did like around 50%? Which that's like, yeah. It depends on how much, how much he has, but... That does not look like it would have killed my Dirge, so... That's the good news. Alright, so the good news is that we got really unlucky in that game like a lot <laughs> and still went pretty well so so yeah that feels that feels good um but yeah he's obviously going to be pretty ready for <clears throat> my play style now no polyrath in that game and no um no Polyrath and no Forges in that game, so both of those are pretty good to know. Citrus Berry essentially means that he'll just never die, so... And two hits, unfortunately. And we know the full set on the Ranguru as well, so those are both really good things to call out. So, Instruct... Okay, um, Instruct, Trick Room, Foul Play, and Taunt. That's good. Man, Covert Cloak on Apothecary is also not looking that strong either. <laughs> Funny enough. Um, hmm. So, okay, so the Ryolu is the Covert Cloak then. Yeah, Ryolu has to be Covert Cloak because... Otherwise, it doesn't make any other sense for it to have another item. So... Ooh, I am going to lead with these three. Um, I'm not going to bring Apothecary in this game, I don't think. Because I don't think I need her. Or him. My god, there's a boy. Because um, Dirge was kind of putting in crazy work there. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go with Sneasler, because Sneasler puts on a pretty hefty amount of offensive pressure no matter what my opponent leads, so... And then Vadios just has the ability to kind of set up, so... Cool. Maybe I could have led something a little more aggressive, like Sneasler and... Skeledurge? I guess that could have made sense too, but... Sartreloot on Ryolu. Okay. Not bad. Alright. Um, so I know... I already know that the Ryolu is holding the Covert Cloak. There isn't, like, anything I can do about that. I'm just gonna go for CC into the Ryolu here, and I'm gonna go for Combined into my... Um, into my Freya. I don't know if CC will kill Ryolu, but should do a fair bit of damage, so I know it's Covert Cloak, because it doesn't make sense for it to not have other items, so. And then if he Terra Fairies, then I can just go for Dire Claw and, you know, get my 50% chance of a boost, or a status, so. Immediately withdraws Archaludon, okay, into Oranguru. Alright, that's calm. Gotta turn to set up already, so... I don't remember what the Ryolu Terra, Terra Steel, okay. Don't exactly know what Ryolu's gonna do here, but we're gonna get a couple free turns to set up with Adios, so that's good. 
So going for that CC, barely, barely doesn't die. That's okay. Poison? Never lucky, dude. Fucking hell. Oh, is it Endeavor? Does Riolo get Endeavor? That'd be super annoying. Oh, Circle Throw. Well, that's also annoying. <laughs> um, so what do I send out? Dirge? Dirge? Okay, Dirge is home. Alright, so... Sneasler. So he must have EV'd his Ryolu to live that move. It's annoying. Circle throw. Okay, so circle throw coaching rain dance. We can assume that's the that's the set. I'm gonna go for faint just so that it doesn't like he's not gonna want to switch in Ryolu onto a, like a close combat. I'm gonna just start yassing off these torch songs, like <laughs> No shot, dude. If he switched in our on here, I'm gonna be so sick. Okay. That's not bad. Give me that poison. I'm literally poison touched, dude. What more do I gotta do? <laughs> Good god. So there's the trick room. I can't get a status to save my life. Alright, so I'm going to switch into Rillaboom here. Um, does Polyrath have anything that can actually... I guess the Instruct stuff could be kind of annoying, so... I'll go for Protect here. Why not? Don't want to get... Don't want to get punished for that. So I get to save my Fake Out for another day. So that makes me think that the Oranguru actually is in our focus, so that's good. So Rilla is on the on the board. Hirsch goes for protect. Up plays. Fair play, fair play. Doubles up into that slot. There. Pretty obvious protect. Although I'm not really, not really stressing right now. Polyrath is either going to protect. He has who? Archiludon in the back, right? So. Um. Just going to Woodhammer into Guru here. I'm going to. I think I might Earth Power. Read that, read that Tower of Fire. Yeah, let's do it. So Polyrath protects. I guess I could have gotten another Torch Song off into the Guru. That's annoying. I uh, wonder if Guru's gonna be in range of blood on this next turn. Probably not. Because of the berry, right? I could have doubled up into Guru there. That that uh, protect is really um, obvious. Uh, I feel like I need to save Rillaboom. That fake out pressure. I guess I have fake out pressure from Sneasler later in the game, so I guess that's not bad. Yeah, I think Glide into Earth Power is probably calm here. We can we can cover for the Terra or the switch out or whatever. My Dirge does have a little bit of speed EVs in it, so I guess that could kinda screw me up if his Polyrath is min speed, but let me do, let me do the Sneasler into Riolu damage calc. <laughs> so yeah, there's a uh, Archiludon's Oh it's Riolu, so I get a free Earth Power off into this um Into this mod, into this um, Ranguru. It's not bad. 
And now I get fake out pressure again, so I'm kind of been chilling. Doesn't quite kill, but I think that's okay. Get a free porch song off. I think I might be able to go out into Freya here, get my defense boost, be safe from pretty much anything that these two, the, these two could do. I can pressure Mist Ball into... Yeah, I need to switch out Latias while I still can, so... so there's Polyrath again, that's okay. There's Latias, get my Grassy Seed while I still have it. Let's just see if I got unlucky or what. Oh wow, the Riolu is Eviolite, huh? No, he doesn't have to be. He might just be fully Fizz Bulk. I guess that's okay. Alright, so I pressure with... No, last turn of Trick Room, so... I think I'm going to go Ore Sphere into the Oranguru here and go for Protect into my Dirge. Yeah, I think this is the right call. Ooh, we get a free damage off into Arch of Wudon. That's nice. No Terra. That means that the Polyrath is probably protecting, right? Oh, Waterfalls. Doesn't do much. Get my free ore sphere off. Probably like 30%. Yeah, not bad. Stamina boost, that's okay. Keeps reading my really obvious protects with the dirge. It's really annoying. Uh, go for Mist Ball into Polyrath. What's the Terra on the Dirge? The or on the Archaludon's fairy, right? Okay, I'm, I'm what, plus one Dirge right now? Yeah. So yeah, I can go for Mist Ball into Polyrath here, and... Of power into it? I think that's reasonable. If he protects here, it's kind of a bad play for me, but... Almost gets the Oko. Iron Head into my Fire type. It's just trying to get a flinch, I think. Does a ton of damage into Dirge. Get some good HP with the berry. I don't get flinched, that's great. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, I got lucky there to not get flinched, but low-key RNG was like... I was like due for some positive RNG. <laughs> so there's Guru again. I don't know if my worst Spear will kill, but I think it'll be alright. I'll go for Slack Off here onto my Dirge. Gotta get some HP back. What Terra type is the Guru? I can't imagine he won't go for Fairy Terra on the Archaludon here. It's like his best play. Yeah, so there's the Terra. He's only at plus one defense right now, so that's cool. Pretty good. Maybe I should have doubled up into Guru. I don't know if I trust Latios to get the kill. Okay. It's good to trust Latios to get the kill. <laughs> so body presses, this one's kill me. Yeah, I'm gonna say I got the boost. So now I'm basically at full HP on my Dirge. And I am super chilling at this point. Uh, I can go for Mist Ball. It's my most damage. And now I can just start spamming Torch Song. And I think I'll have... I'll have this unlock. He can't mirror coat both mons, so. That's fair damage, too. Haven't gotten any of my secondary effects yet on any of my mons, so. <laughs> and Torch Song just ends it. Yeah, baby, let's go. 
team put in work. Even though I got like super negative RNG for most of the set, the team was fire. Skeledurge putting in crazy work, living that uh, Iron Head double up. Yeah, my only big thing of good RNG that I got in this set was getting that not flinching during that double up. That was super clutch because Polyrath just died for free, basically, which was really good. But otherwise, like the T Bolt para into double full para into Bug Buzz crit into my Latios into not getting poison from Sneezler's attack. Um, I feel like I feel like the RNG really uh, really balanced itself out, and that the team put in crazy work. So yeah, with that, um, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this YouTube video version of Solonor, aka Chad. And yeah, we'll see you all for future draft league content. Until then.